So welcome to Camps Bay. We're at this beautiful five bed, five and a half bath home here that's currently on the market for 32 and a half million rand. You've got a land space of just under 900 square meters and the floor space of 700 square meters. It's a beautifully designed modern home. You've got beautiful, beautiful light coming in from all angles. The home has paid such attention to detail, being here built in this L shape to allow for the wind to come in at certain angles. You have this double door here behind me, so when you come in, you can close the first door and it doesn't allow wind into the rest of the home. It's beautifully designed. There's such attention for light in this home. You have the glass windows on the roof that allows views of 12 apostles and table mountains behind you. You have gorgeous views of the ocean and lion head out in front. It's honestly a spectacular home. We can't wait to show you this tour. We just want to give a special thanks to the agents, Tyler and Devon, for allowing us and for organizing time for us to come and visit this home. We'll leave their details down below if you're interested in purchasing or if you have any other property needs. So let's get into the tour. So as we enter this home, the first thing you notice is the beautiful, beautiful light, natural light that's been let in. As I said earlier, these beautiful glass panels here that let in light and allow you to see a beautiful view of uh, the 12 apostles in Table Mountain. It's just what you want. You want to be able to look to your back, see the mountain, look to the front and see the ocean as you do over there. You've got this beautiful, beautiful uchi flooring over here. It's just really spectacular. It's like a nice little texture to it. It's really unique and different to homes you'll see around. And to my left, the first room we'll go and look at today is going to be the office. It's a really nicely designed office. It manages to keep its privacy with the, the wooden panels here on the side, along with the glass panels to keep it open and airy. Let's go have a look. So as we enter this office space over here, it's really, really nicely designed. It feels nice and cozy, uh, very much a private space where you can come in and be productive. You have this beautiful glass arched paneling here on the top of the wall next to this window over here that allows some natural light in as well as a gorgeous view onto the mountain range behind Camps Bay. What you'll see throughout this home is this theme of contrasting colors on the wall. You have this grayish black color contrasting with this white on this side. It's a really lovely warm space which you really want your office to be. It keeps its privacy with the, the bookshelves here onto the wooden paneling outside and you have this glass here to allow the natural light to still come in so it's still nice and warm and inviting. Now Sabrina's going to take you through the bedrooms of the house. Let's go have a look. So as you come up the stairs, you come into this beautiful penthouse style living situation over here. You have your private lounge area, you have the pool table, you can exercise here. This, the room next door and the bathroom are the only places up here. So it's really private if you may be studying and you're living at home for a while. If you just want some extra privacy, this is definitely the floor for you. Um, it also has its own private balcony. This whole strip is private for this entire upstairs area. Um, just follow me into the bedroom. Okay, so as you enter the bedroom, you can see it's beautifully spacious. The black walls and the white walls, the theme throughout the house continues within this bedroom. You have a beautiful view of Lion's Head, which you will always have because nobody can build next to you. You have a beautiful view of the ocean on this side. When you wake up, you can see Lion's Head and the ocean at the same time. You have enough cupboard space. I also love that the cupboards are sliding. Obviously, the bathroom is ensuite bathroom. And yeah, I just really love this room. It's spacious, airy, beautiful views. So as I said earlier, there's only one entrance to this entire penthouse style up here. So this could even be the master suite with its own ensuite bathroom, its own pajama area. You can really make with the space as you want. Um, yeah. Another reason why I think this can definitely be the master is because 
What I'm looking at right now is just the top of Lion's Head and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm staring at it, it is so gorgeous. If you wake up in the morning and just walk to the bathroom and walk back, you will just get this beautiful view and this window is placed perfectly so you can just see the mountain behind you. About the ensuite bathroom, you have a beautiful bath and shower and vanity. You have another view from out there where you can still see the mountain. This time you'll be seeing Table Mountain. Uh, it's just a beautiful modern bathroom as well as a LED backlit mirror. It's just a beautiful finish to a beautiful room. At the end of the hallway here, to my left, we have the laundry room, which perfectly connects to the scullery and kitchen downstairs. It's the perfect staff quarters. They are also expanding the garage to a five garage, which means that there's a lot of space that hasn't been utilized yet. Now let's go into this second bedroom. So as we enter this second bedroom on this floor, you have your ensuite bathroom with a bath and a shower, your walk-in closet over there with a bunch of space. I also really love this room because it has a little arch when you go to the bathroom, which makes it really special and different from the rest. You have space for a desk, a bed. You also have a mountain view as well as a sea view. What makes this room different from the other rooms is this beautiful arch wall here. I really love it. You guys know I love arches. Uh, behind Sheldon, we have a beautiful sea view, and this is the ensuite bathroom with a full bath and shower, as well as a beautiful vanity, beautiful accent wall behind the bath, um, and you have also a mountain view from the bathroom. So as we leave with this room, we are also walking past the walk-in closet to my right. We are now going to the little pajama lounge and the main bedroom. So we have just entered the pajama lounge, which is a really nice area where you can sit in the morning, have your coffee, have your view. Um, it also closes so that it's blocked off from the rest of the house, which makes it really private and a part of the master and third bedroom. So this is one of the other bedrooms on this floor. It currently isn't staged as a bedroom, but it can definitely be a bedroom. It has this very cute little French outside eating area, I would say. This bedroom also comes with its own ensuite bathroom with a bathtub as well as a shower and a beautiful vanity. All the vanities in this house is obviously beautiful. It also has an outside area and oh my goodness, this view, I can barely take my eyes off of it, but it's so beautiful and has a beautiful long balcony. It is separate from the master bedroom, however. So let's go check out the master bedroom. So as we enter the master bedroom, we have the beautiful room over here, walk-in closet behind me, but first we're gonna enter this ensuite bathroom. The first thing that catches your attention in this bathroom is obviously the view. You have a view of the mountain, you have a view of the creeper walls, you have an outside shower where you can enjoy this view even more. You have the double vanities over here with very dramatic mirrors, which is perfect for this home. Over here you have a full length mirror to check your outfit in the morning. You also have heating racks as well as a private toilet to keep it separate from the rest of the bathroom. Beautiful and large bathtub. You can also enjoy the view from the bathtub with the chandelier hanging over you, very dramatic. So over here you have the floating vanities. As I mentioned earlier, you have the double vanity, very dramatic mirrors. So as we step into this bathroom, I immediately what I felt was warmth. It's really warm and cozy in here, which is exactly what you want from a bathroom. You can also close the curtains if you want a little bit more privacy, not that anyone can see in here. And then you also have this beautiful wallpaper, which I think adds to the warmth of this room. It's this beautiful yellow and, um, white that just makes this room feel warmer and more homey. Behind this mirror you also have extra storage space if you would want to store something there. And behind me, which personally for me is the star of the show, is the walk-in shower with a huge shower head for amazingly long showers that you can have here. So just follow me into the bedroom. So 
as we step into this master bedroom, you have beautiful views all around. As you can see the ocean and the mountain, you also have beautiful seating area here where you can adore this view from. You have extra cupboard space right there on top of the walk-in closet that you have behind there. Beautiful large bed. We also have these beautiful arch windowed mirrors that we will see downstairs as well, which is a beautiful theme throughout this home. We have a fireplace over here that you can have for the cold winters in Cape Town. It is a wood fireplace, which makes it more traditional, not necessarily that modern, which is really nice in this home. So you have this beautiful corner window, which is just absolutely stunning. You can, I would sit here all day personally and just look at this view. This room is at the same angle as the sunroom downstairs, which means that it gets light right after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It gets a bunch of light let into this room. Okay, so now Sheldon will take you downstairs to all of the lounge areas as well as the kitchen and outside area. So now after we've been through the upper and the middle level, we're going to go downstairs into the living areas. So one feature I really love about this home is the main staircase here. As you'll see, it's not really like a usual staircase with a lot of heights. It's more elongated and longer stairs. Honestly, it makes for a much more natural feel to it. It also makes it more accessible. The reason it is like this is because there was a ramp here originally for wheelchair access, but now they've just converted into these longer, more accessible staircases. Let's go down and have a look. So as we enter the downstairs living area over here, you're greeted by this beautiful mirror here to my right, and behind me over there is just the guest bathroom. You'll see again, it's really, really lovely and spacious down here. You've got these really awesome pillars. Um, it really adds texture to the home. You've got the different paints on the walls. You've got the white paints. You've got this uh, grayish color over here. Again, just adding contrast to the room. It's really lovely. Again, the flooring here is nice. It really keeps the home cool. So as we come this way, you see we've got a wine cellar over there. It is cooled and regulated, but we'll touch more on that just now. We're gonna go through the formal dining area over here and down into the kitchen. So behind me as well, you'll see you have the sliding glass doors uh, that lead out onto the pool and outside area. Uh, in front of me again, you have this beautiful arched window. It really matches the other one, give it some nice symmetry. And as we come across this way, you'll see we have this gorgeous kitchen area over here. We've got this waterfall edge kitchen island over here, and you've got the matching uh, marble top here finish on the right. Uh, you've got a lot of cupboard space in this kitchen. You've got bar seating over here, so if you want to catch have a nice little breakfast here at the kitchen table. You have your gas stove over here. And again, the light in this house is just so important and it just really is a main feature of this house. You've got the view in front of me over here. Imagine cooking out here, looking onto this gorgeous, gorgeous view. Camps Bay really is something special and this home is the epitome of that. As we come over here again, you've got lovely space over here. Again, letting in light from uh, this huge open window door area that leads out onto the garden. Uh, it's a lovely just use of light and design here is really, really something special. You have a lot of natural light coming in. The house has been designed specifically to allow that natural light to come in at certain times of the day in different angles. As we're in touch with the rooftop windows over there. To my left over here, you have the scullery and pantry, which we mentioned earlier, does connect with the laundry room, making for perfect staff quarters. You have all the appliances you'll need for this Christmas, uh, yeah. So invite the family around, invite your friends around, and you can cater for a whole army. Now we come back around this side of the kitchen. Again, you've got more storage space over here, and we're coming now into the living area. So 
So as we enter this corner of the living space over here, the first thing you notice is the different shade, like the different amount of lights let in. It's much darker in this corner and that's done for a reason. You have the wine cellar over here, which needs to be cooled and kept at the right temperature, as well as having a TV room in here, allowing for better lights when you're watching something on the TV. So again, in this room, you have nice white walls. You have the game, the contrast with this gray wall here behind me, and it leads out onto this gorgeous sunroom over here, which has been designed so that light hits it rather than this room. Let's go have a look. So as we enter this gorgeous little sun nook sunroom over here, you'll see it's got beautiful, beautiful views out across Camps Bay. You can see Lion's Head over there, as well as the gorgeous Camps Bay beaches around you. You've got some of the most incredible views we've ever seen. One thing to note here about this house is that the view will never ever be blocked. You have uh, this green belt here right in front of this house, one of only two houses on the street to have this view protected for the rest of this home's lifetime. You have the council ground in front of it as well, so across the street it'll never be built on. So you have these gorgeous trees just in front of the ocean next to Lion's Head here, unobstructed. No one will ever build in front of you and that is a huge massive appeal in this home. Something in Camps Bay, it's rare to find that you actually have unparalleled, unobstructed views. So in the sunroom, it's just a gorgeous little room. You can really keep some heat in on a nice uh, winter's day. You can close the doors up, store some heat in even more. It's just really, really beautiful. Now in the morning time, it's a bit cooler in here. You're still in the shade, but in the afternoon, it's really lovely to come and sit here and just have a nice time with some friends or family. And just outside it, you have the balcony area as well. There's a dining table there at the moment. I can just imagine like a nice evening, you sit down, watch the sunset over the ocean, and you just sit outside, have a meal with some friends and family. It's just a really gorgeous use of space, and it really allows for a nice intimate family and friend living uh, and, and for entertaining. It's a really, really nice house, really well designed, a keen eye to detail. It's everything about this home has been designed specifically for it to be in Camps Bay and in this specific lot. You have the L shape of the house, point facing north so you get the maximum light you can. You have the gorgeous views of the mountain range behind you, the 12 apostles. You have lion's head there, you have the beach there. So you have really, really gorgeous views all around you. Light is maximized. You have uh, darker rooms where you need to be. You have sun rooms where you need to be. It's a really beautifully designed home. You have the creeper walls all around the home. Something that's really, really different to a lot of homes around you. It takes time and it just really adds difference to this home and it makes it feel much more connected with nature and much more open to come and sit in and private. It's just a really beautiful touch. And as you look out over the pool, you have the most gorgeous views as I've said before. Behind me here, you have access to a granny flat, which has its own little private garden over there. It's also got accessibility down the stairs for an electronic seat. So, you know, it is the perfect granny flat. You have, again, it's an ensuite. You do have its private little uh, garden. So it's a nice little detached area from the home. Uh, it's really nice and private. And as we end here in the sunroom, we're just gonna go outside and admire the garden space. So as we come into the garden over here, the first thing you notice is the pool just at the edge of the property, looking out onto the gorgeous views you have here. You have this lovely little garden space over here, just enough for the kids to play in. You also have a beautiful place for shrubbery and plants. As you can see, there's got some beautiful, beautiful, vibrant plants that are growing at the moment. You have this little break in between the garden and the pool of this nice pebble area. Behind me again, as I mentioned, you have the creeper walls over there, just really adds something different. You have a lemon tree there behind uh, the corner over there, again, with the access straight into the kitchen. And this outside area is just really lovely. If you want to come and sit outside in the sun, you can just stand here or sit here where I am, get some lounger, um, some lounger chairs or maybe some, just some more cushion chairs. You can lie in the pool. You can go sit at your outside table over there, maybe just have a coffee in the morning. Or if you wanted a more cool uh, experience just on a hot day like today, you can sit out there in your patio space. It's nice and tiled. It, it's really, really cool in this home uh, when you're inside the house. They've used concrete throughout the home, so it manages to stay cool in the summer months and warm in the winter months. It really retains uh, the temperature well, so you know it's really important in a space like this where you are getting so much sunlight, you don't want the insides to feel too warm. And the patio as well, it feels cool. You can sit there, a nice Cape Town breeze as you look out, have your breakfast or your dinner or your lunch, or just coming to chill and look out onto the gorgeous views that will never be obstructed. I just want to thank everyone for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful house tour. Um, this has been one of my favorite house tours we've done. Uh, beautiful views, beautiful home, 
And yeah, join us again next time. We just want to give a special thanks to the agents, Tyler and Devon, for allowing us access into this property, as well as the owners for letting us come and tour their gorgeous home. We really hope you guys enjoy. We hope you enjoy what we have to come in the future. And yeah, if you want to go check out some of our older videos, they will be linked up and down in the description. Uh, yeah, the details for the agents will be down below if you're interested in purchasing or if you want to get in touch with them for another property. Cool. We hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.